Lake Conroe was constructed by the San Jacinto River Authority back in the 1970s. Over the, the history of Lake Conroe, an invasive aquatic plant came back in the late 1970s and by the early 1980s covered almost 40% of the surface acreage of Lake Conroe. That plant is hydrilla. The homeowners were concerned that hydrilla was inhibiting access, also reducing property values, which are important in this area. The anglers wanted the hydrilla kept in the lake the way it was. And our role was to try to find common ground between these competing interests, control an invasive plant, but also restore habitat with a diverse mix of native aquatic plants. The plants that we use here in Lake Conroe are grown locally here on the San Jacinto River Authority property. We're able to produce anywhere from 1,000 to about 3,000 individual potted plants per year. When we plant plants inside these cages, we generally plant a variety of native aquatic plants. You might look at these pens here and wonder, how in the world is this small amount of plants going to do any good on a lake as large as Lake Conroe? But through our research, we've learned that if you can establish mature stands of native aquatic plants in small founder colonies, they are able to expand on their own through seed and spread much quicker than we can affect through planting alone. One of the most important aspects of this project is to not only improve fishing quality for present day anglers, but also for future generations of anglers, not only here at Lake Conroe, but throughout the state. The Texas Bass Classic Foundation and Gulf States Toyota provide much needed financial assistance ensuring a bright future for Texas fisheries.